Okay, hi, we're back for part three now that I've decided what I want to do next and also got over a really bad cold. I don't know if it was the swine flu or what, but there's the uh, chicken soup colors and I'm feeling much better. And when I'm feeling much better, I paint things red. So I'm going to paint something red today. I haven't done any thinking past this. I woke up yesterday morning thinking about this glyph. This is the glyph for Jupiter. And uh, I guess astronomers use it too, but I know astrologers do. And I just had this vision of that, that image on here. Okay, but I'm not going to put it like dead in the center or whatever. I'm going to put it like this. Oh my God, this is red. Woo okay, I'm going to go like this. I want it tilted. I want it to go off the sides. I'll come back in, tilted, and then I'll come down from the top, also tilted. Okay, so it's just sort of that. Now it is the glyph, but see this part extends up off the page, this part extends up off the page, this part it would extend out to here, and this is going to extend out the bottom. Okay, so this is just what I woke up seeing. So that's where I'm going to start today is just with that. And I have no idea what to do past this point. So I'll turn this off while I think about it for a minute and then I'll be back. Okay, I decided to switch to a smaller brush and I'm using um, Naples yellow mixed with titanium white because I ran out of the Naples yellow pale, which was nice. Um, and see what I'm doing? I'm just making little little lines over here. I'm, I'm going to have to avoid this red because it will smear all over the place. And so since it will be like totally uninteresting to watch me get all the way across the canvas doing this, I will just show you this little piece here and then come back when it's more interesting. But this is all I'm doing. I'm still trying to avoid the places in the picture that are really beautiful. Um, some of the drips and weird stuff that went on before. And, oh, and I don't know if this is going to end up being the direction of the painting. This could end up somewhere totally else. But that was just what I saw when I woke up. So that's how I started. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, so I put all my little bitty white lines, changed the size of the brush, and put the little white lines on there. I only went over the red once and went, ah! Oh, dear. But, who cares? Um, I'll look for it on the Internet, but Pablo Picasso said something about, I always try to make mistakes or else how do you ever learn anything? So, you just keep making mistakes and and everything comes out okay. Now, the only color I'm going to be able to use now uh, is this raw umber because I can drag that through the red and it's not going to make any difference. If I drag the green through there, I'm going to get brown. So I might as well just do brown. So with this color, I'm going to be able to go across, which I couldn't do with the other one. And I just want to do a little bit of this with the bit, I switch back to the big brush just to kind of start to anchor this thing. And then I'm going to have to let it dry for a few days again. And the cadmiums, that's cadmium scarlet or something like that, they just seem to take forever to dry. Forever. So I don't know when I'm going to get to get back to this. But I'll do it as soon as I can. And I don't think it was a mistake at all. I've turned the picture over. You know the way I said how you should turn it over and over. Like this. It's still looking balanced. I haven't picked a direction yet. Could end up like that. But any painting that you're doing, any kind of painting, turn it over. Turn it over. 
Because if it's balanced in every direction, it's going to come out good. And I don't care if you're painting a barn or a horse or somebody's portrait. If it looks balanced in every direction, you're going to turn out with a painting that you like. But there will be, for me, there's going to be one direction that makes the painting move. Because for me, that's what I'm about in my stuff is I want kinetics. I want energy and I want movement. I want it to look like a dance or a fight or something. So it's got to move. So I will put mine in the direction that it's moving well. So I'm going to carry on with a little more of this really barfy brown that everybody hates so much and I think it's so beautiful. And we'll pick it up next time when it's dry again. See ya! Happy painting! Okay, this is where I'm going to end today. I only got to work on this for about an hour and sometimes that's how it is. Anybody who paints oils knows that you have to have like several things going at once so that if you're stuck with nothing else to do that would be terrible but let me just show you over here on the other side of the studio there's a bunch of the adoptable paintings over there. There's a whole bunch of them and that isn't even all of it. There's a whole bunch that are elsewhere. So, this is all I'm going to get to do on this one for today, and there's more to come.